All right, so it's been a very long time since I've done a video, and I have no real excuse. I'm just, you know, milly is it. Um, but anyway, a while back, I tweeted that straightening your hair is all fun and games until you lose your curl. And a whole ton of girls wrote me back like, oh my gosh, you know what you're saying? I feel your pain. I used to have awesome curls. Now they're gone. All these girls were tweeting. And if you're like me, for whatever reason, I like straightening my hair in the winter. I have no idea why, but I'll wear my hair straight practically the entire winter. And usually my curls are like, oh, so you like your hair straight now? Oh, oh, you think you're cute? Well, you gon' miss me when I'm gone. You gon' miss me. And I'm usually like, See, baby, I didn't mean to do that. You know it was nothing like that. It's just that my boys were around and that flat iron was looking at me like, Yo, you gonna do this? And I was like, I don't wanna look like a little punk-ass bitch in front of the flat iron. So with that being said, I decided to do a video on some tips for getting your curl back when you have heat damage. First things first, you have to say no to heat. If you are trying to get your curl back, you cannot use a curling iron on your hair to get the curls. That just, that defeats the purpose. And believe me, it will be very hard, but let me tell you something. God don't like ugly, and believe me, your hair will be hideous when you come out of the shower if you continue to use a curling iron on your hair. Next, it's all about the products. Anything that says repair, restore, damaged, help you out, are you looking dry, any products that say those type of things, please pick them up. Just douse your hair in them because that's the type of stuff that you need. The next tip that I suggest is reminding your hair of what it used to do. Doing steps, you know, just being like, hey girl, remember that time? I think it was like the summer, it might have been like 2004, I don't know, it was really hot outside. Maya and Drew Hill was playing in the background. Anyway, do you remember what you look like? Let's get back to that. Your hair will be thankful for it. So this is, depending on how much damage I have, I will, when my hair is damp or when it's wet, I will braid it in the night, sleep on that. But I'm not talking about like some fancy ass cornrows because these hands are absolutely useless for that type of thing. I mean like just for big awkward braids. And depending on how I slept, I wake up looking like The Little Mermaid or Seely from The Color Purple. Either way, my hair is being reminded of what it used to do and it is thanking me for it. And I will do this for like a week straight, two weeks, a month anything just to get my hair back in like natural form as much as possible. Another step that I take that is helpful also if say you don't wanna wash your hair, um, but your curls are looking dead. Shannon and I were actually talking about this last night and it's just taking sections of your hair and literally ringleting it, if that's a word, around your finger. Just putting some leave-in conditioner in your hands and just doing that. I will do that to my whole entire head when my hair is damaged. I'll let it air dry, I take it out, flip my hair a couple times, and I'm good to go. Now, some pieces are going to end up a little bit wonky, that's just because you have damage on your hair, and you're gonna wanna pick up a curling iron and fix that. Don't, please, don't. I know you're gonna do it anyway, but I'm telling you, don't do it. It's one of those situations, like when you were younger, it was cold out, your mom was like, hey, wear the warmer jacket. You were like, look mom, I'm cool now, let me live. You go outside, you come back home, you have the whooping cough. Don't pick up the flat iron. Just try, please try. So what I usually do for that is I will use these, these curler rod uh, thingies, and I will just wrap wonky sections of my hair in it, leave it wet, let it dry, and take it out, and it's usually pretty good to go. Sometimes it's a little curlier than normal, but you just have to like pull it down and do stuff to it. But it helps. It's, it's an alternative as opposed to using a curling iron on your hair. So those are my basic tips. It's all about reminding your hair of what it used to do, putting it in its most natural state, talking to it nicely, telling it you love it, and not using the curling iron on your hair. Just stay away from heat.
for a few weeks and see how that does. Get yourself some good products, some Moroccan oil, some mixed chicks, and go from there. Best of luck to you. If you have tips, share them with me. If you try these out and they work, go ahead. Do that thing. Bye. Take them to the jungle. Go, 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 go.